want to be on it? Do you want your eyebrows to be in it? No. Do you really? No. Do you really? <laughs> All you, baby. All me. Uh huh. Hi, everybody. <clears throat> I think my mic's working, hopefully. Jim, send it to my mom. Hello, hello. Hi, Dolores. How are you? And Hobbs, Jenny. Hi, guys. There's three of you. Hello. I think my mom's getting on. Hey, Sarah. How are you? And I'm sorry. I'm a little gravelly. My allergies are kicking in. Hey, Dave, how are you? So please say hi to Emily for me. Um, da, da, da. Okay, it's October 12th. Woo -hoo. Who else, Dave? Hey. Oh, yeah. So, <clears throat> before we get started, I get to shout out to my brand new shirt that actually physically just came in yesterday. And it's very appropriate because the hearing started today. I am not getting into anything political, as you guys don't have to worry about it. No stress here. We're just doing twilight shopping, but I am a, a big believer, let's just say. <laughs> so I have this great RBG. My um, second cousin got one, oh gosh, a couple weeks back. And I was very jealous because mine had not come in yet because it was delayed. Anyway, mine showed up this weekend. I'm wearing it today. Yay. Okay. Anyway, um, what's that say? She is on now. Oh, hey, Emily. Okay, so <clears throat> it is October 12th. This is your other closet. My name is Kelly. Uh, my husband's in the background. We are behind the scenes after hours at your other closet to do some window shopping. Hey, Tammy, how are you? Thanks for sending the video to my mom. Um, I think my mom is watching. Anyway, um, we are gonna do a little bit of window shopping. And if you guys haven't heard in October, a lot of stores are bringing Christmas out super early. It drives me nuts because I'm a huge Halloween and fall fan and I like to do all the fall stuff and all the pumpkins and everything, which my dad just made me some super awesome signs for my yard. Um, <clears throat> anyway, I like to do that. So I didn't necessarily want to get it out, but because it's a strange and squirrely 2020, I had to do something. So we are doing Christmas as we process it and you get to see on my videos first, Hey, Dolores. Hello. Um, so uh, we get to see it first on, oh, it's Charlene. Hey, Charlene. Charlene, my eyeballs just don't work. Um, you get to see my Christmas firsthand behind the scenes. They do not go in the shop until November 1st. They are on my website. And if you look at the website right now and you look at holiday, it is smattered with gold and glitter. It is crazy. So what I'm going to show you is one person stuff that we are... Um, we priced and Tammy was awesome. She came over this weekend and helped me and my dining room is now covered in glitter. Um, and that's not from dancing or anything. It's just from the Christmas stuff. Anyway, uh, I'm going to show you some Christmas stuff. It's all on my website. You can shop there first. If you're local, don't worry about shipping. Just say you're going to purchase and pick up and you can come into the shop and pick it up or you can go to the curb. If you're a little nervous, call us from your car. We'll bring out your package to you, but you can buy it online. Um, and then you don't have to worry that someone else bought it before you. Okay. Um, and uh, my website is just yourothercloset.com. It's open 24 seven. It <clears throat> looks pretty good. If you guys see any mistakes or anything squirrely, let us know. On the website, we're putting all the Christmas there first. We're putting all our purses there first. And we put all our furniture there first. And those are all the three things that sell pretty quick. So if you are looking for a specific piece of furniture, check there. If you need us to hold it because you can't come in right away, let us know. If you want some more details, we're happy to pass along the details. If you want to buy it online, we'll help you out with that too. Okay, Oof. all right, let's get going. Oh yes, a shout out to my sister-in-law and my brother. It's their seventh anniversary today. Um, it was a great wedding, a lot of fun, very kind of like family, just tiny, but it wasn't tiny in the same sense. It was kind of neat. Um, love the wedding. The family's great, they're doing wonderful, and uh, we are just happy to have them as part of our family. So yay to their seventh anniversary. Okay, we're gonna get started. So what we had, this is our second Christmas with them. We had a family who, um, the woman ran a um, catering business, and she had an entire storage facility full of 
holiday decor because she'd either use it for her catered events or she also had things in her shop. Um, a lot of it was never used, including the Christmas stuff. So we have a lot of brand new Christmas that was purchased several years ago and it was just in storage and now we have it. And so what these things are is a lot of things that you might use in garland. Um, Tammy and I were trying to figure this out last this weekend. If you're making Christmas wreaths, you might use some of these pieces to you put on your Christmas wreaths. These are those things that you buy in multiple sets because you're going to drape it along your garland. You might try and put it on um, uh, <clears throat> your uh, fire mantle, your fireplace mantle. You might want to put it around your door. Um, maybe you make several wreaths for other people. So, um, hi Jenna, thanks for joining us. Okay. So what I'm talking about is this, and this is where all the gold came from. Some of them are still in their packaging, which is a little bit crinkled because it's been stored, but um, this is a 16 inch cherub. It's still in the packaging. Um, it is, there's three of these. So when you look at my website, you will see like a million of something, not exactly a million, but like 10. And that's because we wanted to list every single one available in case you have to do things in multiples. Um, and this one is only five dollars i think on my website um, so we have this size which is 16 inch we have the 10 inch little cherubs there you go and these are plastic but they are painted with metallic paint they have a ton of glitter on them and like we were thinking if you put them on a wreath or on a large uh like if you have a huge place to like stairway to put um a uh uh, green garland on you might want to add these to it uh, a few of them have violins and a few of them have mandolins okay and then you have the tiny little six inch ones okay there we go so we have multiples of these so if you need something hey Lauren how are you um, if you need something to decorate and you need multiples look on our web because we have each individual one on there and as they sell they'll disappear um, we have one <laughs> this is the craziest thing and there may be more stored from last summer, with Christmas, but I don't think so. This is a um, violin, it's acrylic, so it looks like it's crystal on the front, but it is painted gold on the back. So maybe you wanna do a musical theme on your wreath or on your um, garland. Then we have ornaments that are gold. She was really big into gold this the time. We have three of these. Now these look like a regular or ornament, a bulb, with a wire that is glittered just along the top filigree okay and these are all two dollars okay we have these larger ones that are about four inch diameter they are texturized but they are covered in beads and crystals okay we have same size these are red and gold crystals and i am going to try and show you closer <laughs> all right so red and gold. Wow. Now we have like a disco ball. <laughs> and it's, hey, Carol, how are you? These are covered in also glass shards. And then we have the, these are really kind of classy looking. They're like a teardrop. Um, and then they have this gold wire that's attaching them. Again, $2. But these are beads, gold, crystal, and white. Then like seed beads, little tiny ones. Then we have the persimmons. I think I say that right. They are the red and gold, plus the little glass shards, plus the leaf and the stem. Okay, I think we have 11 of those. Then we have these ones that to me look like they're a Russian or European influence. So think genie bottle possibly, but they're a swirl and they're gold and copper. And these are all $2. Hey Lisa, how are you? So gold, just think gold, okay? Glitter, gold paint, shiny. So that's what we have there. Um, we also have, if you wanted to try sets, because um, my family doesn't really do like all one color. Uh, we do stuff we've, I have ornaments for my grandmother and they're like my great aunt. And I have some that are about a hundred years old. Um, we have some that my grandmother gave me. She gave all of us kids one every year with a year on them. <clears throat> my parents kept them for us. Uh, we have some that we like to 
exchange ornaments every year. One per, get, everybody gets one kind of thing and we exchange them. So we've had them, if I'm 52, a lot. We have a lot. And I have a very big tree. I don't have the biggest tree. We used to have a big tree that was nine and a half feet tall and 12 foot wide. My dad had to cut it down. It was awesome. And my little brother and my mom drove it home in the convertible with the top down because they couldn't get the box in the car. My little brother thought it was awesome. And uh, they drove it home and we had the biggest tree I've ever seen in my life because we always do artificial because we don't believe in cutting down a tree. If you do, great, but we do artificial. We also keep it up for a lot longer than anybody else should. Um, <laughs> I've even had a Christmas tree where the top has been in the air vent in order for it to stand up. And when the heat came on, it was you know, it's very crazy. Anyway, <laughs> we do big trees in my house. Um, Ryan's learning about this since he's been married to me. Anyway, uh, we don't always do sets, but I have sets for sale. And these are just like, you see them, they are glass ornaments. So they're nice ornaments and they aren't that expensive because you probably got them at Walmart or Hobby Lobby, but this woman has them and we have them for about half the price. And these are red, almost like a deep, deep red. And these are about th three inch diameter ones. They're set of four and they have gold on them. And then these are four inch diameter ones. And there's again, a set of four. So those will be on the web. Um, hey, Terry, how are you? We also have these burgundy ones. I believe we have two sets of these still, and there's 12 ornaments in them. And half of them are matte finish and half are shiny finish. And they're really beautiful, but they're all glass ornaments. So if this is something you'd like to add to your tree, we have two sets of these, okay? But they're on the web. They won't be in my shop until November. So if you want to get a head start or make sure you get them before someone else does, check out my web page. We have, sorry, hi. Um, we have uh, little clip-on ones, which is kind of fun because my grandmother or my mom had these other ones that look like birds, like real birds, and they have clips and they're glass and then they have feathers in their tails. So they have like a little... I don't want to say that, but roach clip. <clears throat> they have a little clip and you clip them to the branch. And these are cardinals with little pine cones and beads. We have two of these up there. And then we have also, got to go back to glitter. She loved glitter. Um, we, hey, Chris, how are you? Uh, we have a couple of sets of these where these are indestructible. We have several indestructible ones out there. So if you have children, you have animals, you have a cat who climbs your tree, you might want some of these. You might want to put them outside. Okay, so those are that. All right, um, we are also getting a, quite a bit of uh, clothing in that would be holiday, such as some that have like um, sweaters with embroidered uh, Santas and snowmen and things like that. We also have a couple other unique pieces that are decor. Um, we have this one, which is a tin. It's painted tin. So, and his arms move, which is interesting, so you can reposition them. Um, I'm not guaranteed it's antique, but it's meant to look antique. And this is 16 by 10, and it's a St. Nicholas. It's a really cool piece, if you like the tin art. Um, and the bottom has a little description of St. Nicholas, and then it's a little more of the folk art style. And this one is da, 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 $21, and it's on my webpage, okay? But we do have different decor. We also have, we just got in, um, I guess it would be a throw. It could be a baby blanket. It could be just a plain old, just lap quilt. Um, it's 56 by 46. I just posted this one tonight, but it's a quilt and it has um, a nativity scene on it. So as you guys can see, there's angels up top, nativity scene. Um, the back is, a starry night kind of material. It's in really great shape, um, but it is 56 by 46, so it might be something you put over your bed, maybe drape it over a love seat, um, and make a fun baby quilt if you were having a grandkid or niece nephew over, and it's 28. Um, we also have, so like I said, we always get closets um, hey Kimberly, um, we get closets, we get uh, estates, and then we have people who have just had collections. So 
I had not seen these before, but we have from 1990 through 2010, I think. Um, they are ornaments that are designed by the White House Historical Association and you can collect anything. So in my family, we collect the coins, the sil uh, silver dollars. <clears throat> and we have those forever, uh, my little brother and I. And so um, these are the ornaments and they're supposed to be depicted by whatever was the special ornament for the president that they're honoring. So this particular one is the ornament from 2011 and it comes with a little information book. It's in the original box, so you still have that. It, the information booklet will tell you why the Historical Society picked it, um, which president it's depicting uh, or honoring, and then um, the ornament itself is in the box, like this one. And I'm gonna get closer. So, these are kind of cool. To me, they're like tin, so they're stamped. They are three-dimensional. They have two sides on them. This one has Teddy Roosevelt and his family, and then they have like almost like a postcard of Santa at the White House. It's very cool. But this is from 2011. And then the box is um, very nice, but it's collectible. So if you hang the ornaments, you can still put them back in. They all have their booklets. I was gonna show you a few of them. So we have that one. This one is for from 2001 and it recognizes, da, 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 da. I didn't memorize everybody, President Andrew Johnson. And this one's really beautiful. It's a carriage. Even the box kind of highlights it, but it's a horse-drawn carriage and it's really pretty. And then the other one set, we have two sets of four. So this one is from, 1994 through 1997 and there's four in here i'm hoping they don't fall out but there's four they have four booklets these booklets are not as colorful but they are on parchment paper they're very pretty they tell you who they are honoring and um the ornaments themselves are really cool so let me show you closer but they're in their collector's boxes, so you should be able to, if you collect them, if you're missing one, you could see if one of ours will match yours. Um, I'm, they're priced right now at about a third of what I've seen them priced at. So Dave, you're a huge collector. I don't know if you actually do these kind of things, but um, if you Google them, you'll see that the price ranges are all over the place. But, uh, we're doing $15 for a single one, and the four are $50 instead of 60. So you save a little money if you buy the two sets of four. And they're all available online. I photographed them all this weekend. Okay, so those are those. Then, besides ornaments, we also have village pieces. These are Heritage Village Collection, which is huge. You could decorate your whole house in these. Um, it's the Dickens Village or the little town of Bethlehem and then what was the other one New England Village which I think we have and uh, Christmas Carol so the little booklets are available but all the houses are online I'm pretty sure I took pictures of them all they are porcelain they do light up with a um, small Christmas tree light and the four that I have right now, which I swear I have a few more up in storage. So we'll add to it as we go. It's the bakery. They stand about six to 10 inches tall, depending on which piece it is. So this is the White Horse Bakery. That's where the light goes, okay? And it looks like a little stone village. This is the schoolhouse. And they all light up. They're beautifully detailed, really nice, okay? This one is the tailor shop, and it's really pretty, two-story. And then the one that lights up, which I think I'm gonna have to turn my camera so you can see this, because my extension cord is not very long. Anyway, so they do light up, but I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, you can a little bit. So see how they light up up here? And then on the front, they light up. 
and then on the side they still light up and this one is the bank okay so we have four of those right now but i think we have more i really do i just haven't gotten to everything everything's in storage so if you guys have ever been in my shop above here this is my 50 percent off rack and then behind it is a storeroom where we keep stuff that we have to return to people. The bathroom we used to be able to use, but we can't use during COVID. And then up above is storage. It's open. And we've been putting all of the Christmas stuff up there that we collect in January and we price over the year. And then over my office is the same thing. And it's filled to the rim with Christmas stuff. So um, we're pricing it as we go and we're getting it out. And it's all going to the website first. And that's where you can buy it first. And again, if you're local, don't pay for shipping or anything. Just say you're going to pick it up and you can either come in the shop and pick it up or we'll take it to your curb. Um, if you need more details or you're not sure how to do that, call us at 355-5979 and we'll help you out with whatever you're looking for. Um, or if you miss something, uh, let's see. Website is just yourothercloset.com. Very simple. It's 24 hour shopping. And um, we did have someone buy a sweater over the weekend. Woohoo! Uh, and we were excited about that. So that's ready. What we do is we get it ready, we package it up, and we send you a notice saying, ready to pick up. And then you just give either come into the shop or you call us when your car pulls up to the curb and we'll bring it out to you. Uh, we have on display, the only thing we have Christmas-wise, because we have a little sign saying this is all online, is the um, uh, dishware that we had, the uh, German pottery dishware, and, or yeah, German. And it's here in the shop because it's just too big to store. And then we also have that beautiful Yadro uh, nativity scene, five pieces of eight. And it's in, on display as well, just because we didn't want to ever have a problem of possibly damaging it. Um, let's see, what else? I'm not sure if you guys, we started the kitchen corner, if you're not sure, that has a lot more hostess wear and kitchen wear in it. And that's coming from a kind of experiment um, that we're doing with some key consigners and uh, closets and estates. Uh, we just got a oodles of new furniture, beautiful love seat couches. Um, we do have a hideaway bed that's full size. I don't normally take them. It's from an estate and uh, it looks like a couch. It's super comfy couch, um, but it does have a, a full size hideaway in it. We just, at the very end of the day on Saturday, got an entertainment center that would make a really great armoire. Uh, it has storage down below and where the TV goes. If you don't want to store a TV in there, you could always do a computer or a sewing machine, or you could just make it into some hanging, hanging area for uh, small shirts and sweaters, maybe even for a children's room. Um, lots of jewelry, oodles of jewelry. Not all of it's out. And our jacket rack. I am told it's supposed to get chillier this week. And we have just really filled our jacket rack. And we really need somebody to come buy a bunch of jackets. But we have lots of jackets. Um, they are Most of them are online. Uh, Anne's been doing great about getting everything out on the um, website. And she's also started posting a lot more scarves. Because we are huge on scarves in this shop. Love them. And uh, we sell quite a few. So she's been staging them on a mannequin so you can see how they uh, lay on you. And uh, they look gorgeous. I can't think of anything else. Can you think of anything else? Any special announcements? I can't think of any. It's late. My allergies are bugging me. I love my new RBG shirt. Um, and it's my brother and sister in law's anniversary. Woohoo! Uh, and I am um, not sure what else to tell you, but give us a shout, uh, let us know. If you have any furniture you're interested in selling, you could always send me a photo by email. It's kelly, K-E-L-L-I, at yourothercloset.com. Uh, email me questions, email me stuff you wanna see on the videos. My next video is Friday at lunchtime. And as you know, no video goes unmarked by some strange crazy phenomenon like someone following me around the shop or this last time <laughs> being attacked by clothing um and stuck so uh anyway i'm gonna let you guys go thanks so much for watching us i can't believe it we got up to 13 people tonight yay pass me on our videos are also um posted to youtube so if you want to see any of the old ones or pass one on like you're like hey they have this furniture go look at it you can check us out on youtube but anybody who gives me a comment in Facebook, I will comment back to you. 
And hey, Tanya, how are you? So that's it for me, guys. I am done for the night. We're gonna try and pack this up and get home so my dogs can go for a walk and I can go to bed. Thank you.